नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सीआईटीएनसीआरटीज लाइव फोन इन स्पेशल इंटरैक्टिव प्रोग्राम ऑफ निष्ठा 3.0 एफएलएन माय नेम इज तन्वी खुराना एंड यू आर वाचिंग अस राइट नाउ एट पीएम ई विद्या चैनल नंबर 1 टू चैनल नंबर 12 एंड टुडे इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कोर्स नंबर 12 इन इंग्लिश टाइटल्ड टॉय बेस्ड पेडागॉजी फॉर फाउंडेशनल स्टेज वेल Before going any further, let's understand what exactly Nishtha is all about. Nishtha is a national initiative for school heads and teachers' holistic advancement. And what exactly is 3.0 FLN? FLN stands for Foundational Literacy and Numeracy, and it is an integrated training for teachers and school heads at pre-primary and primary stage of school education. Under Nishtha 3.0 FLN, there are certain courses which we discuss on this platform every month. And yesterday uh, we discussed uh, course number 11. Day before yesterday we discussed course number 11. That too in English and in Hindi in different days. And uh, today we are going to discuss course number 12 in English, Toy Based Pedagogy for Foundational Stage. If you have any questions, any queries related to this topic, please reach out to us. Give us a call and ask your questions. The number is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine. If you want to email us, then the email ID would be nishtha dot ncrt at the rate ciet dot nic dot in. You are also joined with us, uh, linked with us. You can be a participant in this program through our YouTube channel, which is NCERT Official. In the live chat box, you can write down your questions, queries, and share them with us. So till seven o'clock, we have two resource persons who are going to stay with us in our studio discussing the same course number twelve. And let me introduce you to our today's resource persons. We have with us Dr. Romila Soni. Welcome, ma'am. Hi. Namaste. Namaskar. Ma'am is an associate professor from Department of Elementary Education, NCERT, New Delhi, and we also have with us Professor Sandhya Sangai. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Namaste. Ma'am is from Department of Elementary Education, NCERT, New Delhi, and I welcome both the resource persons once again in our program in this discussion of course number twelve. So um, let's begin this uh, conversation, and uh, before that, I would like to ask Ma'am here because she has something in her hands. So I would like to ask her, Ma'am, what exactly is it? Would you like to show it to us? Yeah, why not? Uh, would you like to? Uh, Touch it and feel it and look at yourself. You know, sure. like what it is. So just catch it. Oh, so it's a paper ball. Is it's a ball made of newspapers? Absolutely. Okay. So that's what the session is all about. It's play. Okay, that's interesting. Absolutely. So let's get into the details. What exactly is this course? So sure, why not about? you throw this ball to? स्कूल बिकॉज प्ले इज वाइटल फॉर चिल्ड्रन हेल्थ एंड brain development so let's look at the course outline first of all uh, what the course outline talks about uh, so i just request the uh, team to show the course outline on the screen so uh, read the course outline we are going to talk about today importance of play and toy based pedagogy and you need to understand that when we talk about toy based pedagogy it's not only khilona or a toy it is toy and game based pedagogy so we are going we are also going to talk about perception on toy based pedagogy that's what we have given in the course toys games as play based pedagogy role of indigenous and traditional indian toys promoting cultural connect through tbp that's what we call in short toy based pedagogy multilingualism and toy based pedagogy toy based pedagogy for inclusion and how to set up a toy area or diy toy area creating diy toys using low cost and no cost materials and resources 
use of technology and that is again developmentally appropriate technology supported toys for learning at the foundational stage implementing TBP in the classroom and parents and community participation for TBP. So this is what we are going to talk about and so let's understand the benefits of play. As I already said that play is vital for children's health and brain development. If you like look at the screen, uh, we say that play builds self-esteem and confidence of children. Play develops problem solving skills and uh, you can find that when the children explore the toys and manipulate with the toys, they learn about and solve many problems on their own. Play helps develop new vocabulary when they talk to each other, solve uh, the problems, they do the discussions, so they learn new vocabulary. Play teaches children to cooperate and collaborate when they work in activity areas, when they work with toys, they also learn to solve their minor conflicts. Play teaches children to be independent. They learn to solve problems on their own and uh, who doesn't want a child to be, uh, who doesn't want an independent child. So play helps children to release their pent up emotions and toys are the games are the best strategies which help children to release their pent up emotions and play encourages critical thinking. They learn to plan how to proceed in their game and play plan. They learn to analyze the situation and uh, reflect upon it, uh, upon it and also thinking <coughs> ahead, you know, like how to uh, go further. So that is what they want to, uh, you know, like this is the importance of the play and toy based pedagogy. As I said in the beginning that play comes naturally to children. Uh, and helps gain conceptual knowledge and important life skills. When we say that, that children uh, gain conceptual knowledge, we will be talking about uh, all these things and showing you many toys and games uh, which will help you to understand how children are uh, learning the concepts through toys and games and how it becomes very easy for the children. Uh, to uh, reach to their learning outcomes and uh, so that is why we say that uh, play and toy based pedagogy is very very important because it is stress free, it is non threatening and uh, children create on their own, they create new things, uh, I will show you many uh, toys you know like uh, made up from uh, natural material and uh, environment material. Uh, which I myself is inspired from uh, the, you know, like the children when they use the uh, found objects, when they use the seeds, uh, leaves, twigs and so many things. Uh, they create on their own using these found materials. So I will just request the team again to show the slide. Uh, so and when we talk about traditional Indian toys. Traditional Indian toys and games we generally find that it is missing. But when we see that they are, they are very simple and contextual and uh, very, very environment friendly and the children can connect uh, with these, uh, with our own traditional Indian toys and uh, yes, uh, we can say that children learn faster and better through toy and game based pedagogy. Now what is this toy uh, based pedagogy, what is the concept? Well we all know that uh, whatever a child plays with becomes a toy. Uh, I was just you know like playing with a paper ball and uh, because you know like I just found a newspaper and uh, I just crumpled it with my hand and you know when the children are also doing it they strengthen their fine motor uh, muscles. So that is one activity and when they crumple it, tie a little rubber band or a string you know like over it, it becomes their own ball. If they put little seeds inside that, it becomes a musical ball or a sound ball. So whatever the child wants to play with becomes a toy and it gives them a sheer enjoyment 
And uh, how can we forget that uh, uh, a small child which you can see uh, in the picture, uh, they, uh, they, you know, like uh, even a katori chamach or a spoon, you know, like it becomes a play material or a toy for them. So that is very, very uh, playful and uh, gives enjoyment uh, to the toys. So how do we learn through toys? Let's see about it. Uh, so, what are the elements of a joyful learning? If we know this as a teachers, we find that uh, elements of a joyful learning are child-centered. Uh, you can see in the pictures also, the child is wearing a, a cap which is made up of a thick grass, you know, like which the child made it herself. It is activity centered, where, which keeps the children engaged and involved. And this is why we say these, these are uh, connected with our three developmental goals. And yes, it, it follows a play way approach. It keeps children engaged, involved and provides immense joy and fun. And as we uh, always say that play and toy based pedagogy, uh, you know, like provides a joyful learning and it is a it you know like it is pressure free the children feel uh, threatened free and you know like the children enjoy so that is the main uh, you know like uh, uh, thing about the toy based pedagogy that's what I just want to say okay that's very very interesting ma'am and uh, as we all know that children and toys they yeah. go hand in hand and learning through toys there can't be a better thing than that absolutely so I would like to ask Sandhya ma'am here ma'am, would yeah. you like to tell us that how can we promote experiential learning through toy based pedagogy? Yes, uh, you, you see just now uh, Dr. Ramila Swani has discussed what are the elements of joyful learning and in those elements experiential learning was one very important element. We all know experiential learning means learning by experience, learning by doing, hands on all these things. So in a toy based pedagogy, she has already explained that toy means any object which helps child to play as well as to learn. So in experiential learning also, toys become a medium, toys becomes a means with which the children learn a lot. So uh, they can learn different concepts, they can do a lot of physical activities, they sharpen their problem solving skills, their creative skills, so many things through their experiences, through hands on activities. So that's why we say that toy based pedagogy is integral to experiential learning. Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, are there any goals you would like to discuss with our viewers? There are uh, these, we can see it on our screens, there are three developmental goals and uh, all round development. Yes, uh, the three developmental goals, you know, like in our previous session also, you know, like we talked about is that uh, developmental goal one is children maintain good health and well-being and developmental goal two is uh, children become effective communicators and developmental goal three is uh, children become involved learners and connect with their environment. As we always explain in our uh, previous Nishtha sessions also, that all these three goals are interdependent, uh, interrelated and uh, interdependent. So uh, we, we need to see that uh, whenever we are learning through uh, toy based pedagogy, whatever toy we are taking, you know, like uh, so all these, uh, suppose if there is uh, one toy, a doll, uh, so how this uh, doll is connected with all the three developmental goals. So we need to see that. So that's why we say that all these three goals are interdependent, interrelated. Mm. So the child, so teachers need to plan accordingly how one toy uh, targets to all the three developmental goals because all the five domains of child development physical motor social emotional creativity language and literacy and intellectual development are merged into th these three developmental goals because now uh, instead of talking about five domains we are focusing on and talking about the three developmental goals that's what 
Okay. Yeah. So ma'am, uh, how exactly is a toy based pedagogy help children? Can help children learning, uh, learning uh, towards these three uh, developmental goals you just talked about? Okay, uh, well uh, the children are uh, introduced uh, to, uh, you know, like uh, first of all when the children learn uh, through toy based pedagogy, they learn from their own when they, when they explore the toys, they are actually learning by doing. They are introduced to their own as well as their Indian culture and start taking pride in their identity. That is what we say, you know, when we are talking about three developmental goals and all round development. The indigenous and traditional toys of India give them emotional satisfaction because they depict the familiar figures and the children can easily connect with them. So we can see that developmental goal one is easily, uh, we, we can say that related with this point. And our indigenous games, uh, especially the board games. Uh, and the DIY games are also very popular uh, which keep the children and adults engaged for longer duration and which uh, specifically target developmental goal 2 and developmental goal 3 which helps children in their holistic uh, development. I think when we will talk about more you know when we show the games and uh, uh, toys, uh, it will be more easier for the viewers to understand. For example, when we say that how these toy based pedagogy is connected with the developmental goals. So first is joyful learning. So when we say that they are connected through art. So art is uh, also covered in the developmental goal, uh, developmental goal 2 when, when we say the children are effective communicators. So they also communicate through art. And they also communicate when they, uh, uh, in developmental goal one, when we talk about, it, you know, like it is uh, good for their well-being. So when they express through art, whether it is performing art, whether it is uh, on the paper, you know, like uh, they express. So it is very good for their well-being. So developmental goal one is targeted there. Games, whether it is a board games, whether it is indoor games, whether it is outdoor games. It is related to all the three developmental goals. Music, dance, drama. Language and literacy is there. Uh, children become involved learners. Uh, they, when they do the music and movement, they create their own dance and drama and uh, when they move their body to the music uh, that they are also targeting developmental goal one. So and when they do the storytelling, how can you forget that uh, children become effective communicators. So this, uh, this is the way you know like uh, how you connect with the three developmental goals and the holistic development. So uh, I, I hope that uh, uh, viewers are satisfied with the answers, otherwise they can always uh, write their queries and questions. Absolutely. It, whatever you are saying is definitely making sense. So um, we can see our uh, next slide on our screens and uh, that says role of indigenous and traditional toys and games. Uh, Ma'am, would you like to show us certain examples of these? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, uh, like uh, Indian games, yes, mm -hmm. uh, why not? I think I will show uh, the Iktara here. Okay. If we, if we can show the uh, top camera over here. I think I, I need to remove this first of all. Mm -hmm. We can show the top camera. So this is a very traditional, uh, this is the very traditional if you can see. I am holding it also. Uh, I am very, I am not very uh, proficient in, uh, may, you know, like playing this, uh, but uh, you can often find this in a urban, rural, and you know, like it makes noise also. Uh, um, um, as I say, that uh, bear with me, you know, like I, I don't know how exactly to play with, but children are more uh, proficient in playing with this. If you can see, this is a, just a bamboo, and this is a clay pot and covered with the brown piece of a paper and uh, it is again uh, you know like found piece of uh, bamboo. So yes. this is one and I can show you uh, this is a music instrument. 
Uh, which one? Yeah, That absolutely, one, yes. absolutely. String, string. And yeah. when the child is playing, so the developmental goal one, the fine motor skill is also there, yes. right? Yeah. And the child is learning also. Yeah. So that again, I think if I can show you here on the tap top camera, because I can, if you can just, uh, you know, like I'll try to pull it, you know, it makes a noise. If I'll just show you. So, uh, you can see that, uh, you can see in the camera also, this is again, uh, this is a cardboard wheel, this is a cardboard wheel and of course, this is uh, made by little older children with the support of the teacher and this is again a clay pot, this is again a clay pot and there is uh, two sticks, when you move it, it plays, you know, like the sticks over here that makes the noise, so that is the thing. So, and this is so popular, which is just, you know, like vanishing from uh, ru uh, urban India. So, teachers bring it back to the classroom and let children enjoy this. Yes. And I can show this also. Uh, it is very popular and, uh, you know, like uh, you can make it in the classroom itself and children can make this. Even a five-year-old children can make it with your support. Believe me. And they will feel so proud yes they have uh, done it and uh, this is again there is a trick you have to hold it uh, like this and you have to this is again a musical toy so uh, yeah, uh, this also you can make it you can make it with the paper cup also if you if I will just request the team to show it on the top camera uh, you can use it with the paper cup attach one paper cup here and one paper cup here and put some uh, beans or rajma or chana seed and tie these uh, threads or a twine thread and then your uh, own uh, damru is ready to play with mm -hmm. and which the children can make their own orchestra and feel proud and can they sing uh, songs and rhymes with that yeah. also yeah absolutely they are great all fun hand Lot of fun. and uh, they are Lot perfect for the kids absolutely absolutely yeah. and uh, you know like they feel so proud you know like yeah. uh, we have made it yes yeah and there's no wastage in it as well there's no plastic and, and then you see what they do they will put different different things yes. and they will try to hear different kind of sound yeah. true so true. it it helps them to be creative mm. as well as problem solving like the skills we talk you know yeah. generally so they can expand here comes experiential learning also uh, absolutely <laughs> and the when when she uh, you know like mentions that you can uh, put some beads and you know and uh, add some sounds mm -hmm. it just stuck into my you know like it just uh, came to my mind you know like you can make such kind of a toys you know like with a paper cup or any even you know like the drink cans uh, yeah, yeah. Tin cans are yeah, available. Yeah. Bit sturdy thing. You know. uh, yeah, and uh, you can put uh, different number of seeds. True. Like you can put the neem dried neem seeds or the yeah. red beans rajma yeah. seed yeah. chana yeah. seed yeah. Chana. in different quantity. Yeah. And then you can ask the children which is the loudest damru, uh, which plays the soft uh, uh, noise and which plays the middle sound. So yeah. you can also bring foundational numeracy over here right. Right. and they are using the mathematical vocabulary course, as well. Right. Of course, and seriation like less sound, more sound kind of, yes. definitely. So their senses definitely. would also be tested. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. Right. So holistic development. Yes. True. We are just looking so at absolutely. it. Absolutely. Just like on the screen, we're seeing like a, a few pictures here, and uh, you've showed certain examples. There are many sir, such uh, toys uh, we have in uh, rural India as well as urban India. So let's just see some more pictures. Yes. So that, uh, again there is, this is a, a kind of a musical instrument mm -hmm. and the middle one is again uh, a wooden dolls, dolls and that is again a wooden uh, fish. fish, you know like where the, we have attached the wheels, wheels. so that yeah. is again an innovation. Yeah. Yeah, can we see some more? Okay. So, uh, do, do not limit yourself only to the toys, you know, uh, think about some uh, outdoor games. games, think about some board games, 
uh, you know like we hardly see our children you know like uh, who are playing uh, I'm, I'm especially talking about the urban children you know like they hardly play kabaddi pithu uh, which we hide and seek popularly called chupan chupai mm -hmm. you know like tag games chain games circle games so we hardly find we we uh, find you know like urban children are just walking in the evening you know like uh, and they they are not familiar with the yeah. toys also yeah. so uh, viewers can you also think about some popular games of your state uh, you know like uh, uh, collect those uh, popular games of your state compile them and share with ncrt and uh, or you know like even at the state level collect them uh, compile them and create your own book of collection of your state ga uh, games but uh, do not forget to share with NCRT. I am sure we are going to get multiple answers for this one <laughs> and uh, yes. so we have uh, India has a huge culture we all know that in every state there is a different culture mm -hmm. and uh, because we are talking about the entire nation here ma'am uh, Sandhya ma'am I would like to ask you that how can you make a connection between these indigenous toys mm -hmm. and the culture? Yeah, uh, well, we have been seeing some indigenous toys uh, in previous slides. And uh, since children, they are more at home, young children, I mean to say. And so they are closely looking at whatever is going on in the house on some festivals. We have different, different festivals. For example, harvest festivals are different. We have Besaki, we have Pongal, we have Onam. So, so children, they are just looking at what are different festivals? For example, for Onam, we associate boats. For example, uh, for Besaki, we have Bhangra. So, uh, we should bring all these things in the classroom. You know, in, a, in Punjab, where we celebrate Besaki, or in Haryana, where we celebrate Besaki, we should try to bring what is the crop which is being uh, harvested in those days. We can tell children and then put up a bhangra so that becomes a game which is also when we say that toy game play we take everything together for example we talk about onam we can make paper boats and then children will have a fun and then we will associate that this festival we have boat race and all those things so yes by talking about small things but these things actually they make an imprint in the minds of children and then they start connecting with their culture and they start taking pride rather when they grow up they start telling in our state we have boat race you know when i was a child i used to make boats in my class so give them good experiences and try to uh, try to encourage them to feel that yes they have their culture and toys are the best thing to feel them connected with their own culture, I'll say. Okay. Yeah. So, like ma'am said, we can actually connect culture with the indigenous toys and we have seen certain examples already. Okay. So, um, ma'am, there's a paper and wooden rattle. Would you like to explain this further to our viewers? Yeah, sure. Paper is actually fun okay. and you can do magic with the papers, you know. Okay. Um, uh, why not, you know, like uh, before coming to this session, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, Sandhya just gave me one uh, box and you know, like she just asked me, can we create something with it? Okay. So we have just created, you know, like it is paper and a box both, right? Okay. So uh, here is a paper. Why I said it is not exclusively paper. I'm going to show you the paper. But uh, can you guess what paper is this? I, I think viewers should drop answer for this. I, this is a box. This is a chips box. This is a potato chips box. And we have done a cut over here mm. and made two eyes and a mouth. Actually, I, this I am inspired by one of the child, you know, like who did this. And uh, uh, this, this uh, totally goes to that particular child. Mm. So, and then uh, I just covered the... A box uh, with one of the bag this is not a, uh, we we have not purchased the brown paper bag this bag was uh, in carry a, bag this is a carry bag of a sweet 
uh, sweet box, Shop. Oh, yeah. sweet shop, you know, like, uh, uh, and it was lying in my room. Okay. And yeah. uh, I, I, I somehow rather thought that maybe I'll use it someday. Mm. So I just wrapped it and I, you know, like, uh, I just left it like this. So mm. I can hang it in the classroom. Teachers can hang it in the classroom also for the easy storage. Yeah. Mm. And can you guess, many people ask me, um, Madam, what have you made? What? have you made you know like what are you going to use with it hmm. so can i use it for foundational numeracy okay let's see it you know hmm. let let uh, let's try it i i if i if i give uh, beads to sandhya and i last that this is my box hmm. and this is a hungry joker okay this is a hungry joker hmm. so this i'm going to tell it to my children this is a hungry joker hmm. And feed the hungry joker with the number that I am going to call. Okay. Okay. So I am going to give you some beads, okay. which you may think that these are the beads for the uh, food for the hungry joker. Oh, okay? okay. So you can keep the, your uh, the food yeah. in this box, yeah. Yeah. and I'll show you can target it from here. You can keep the box here. Okay. And I'll just call out the number, and you have to throw that particular number of the okay. food okay. Uh, in that uh, joker okay because we are showing it in the camera we, we are showing it in the camera so uh, you uh, you need to see that we are uh, throwing the food uh, very closely very closely okay very closely but if we if you are going to do it in your classroom, then you have to keep it at a certain distance. This is because we are showing it in a camera. Okay, I'll just ask Sandhya to feed. Uh, you can put it like this, but when the child will do it, the child is going to throw it. Okay, so uh, feed two uh, strawberry to the hungry joker. Two. Strawberry? Two. That is a food. So I have given the name uh, strawberry uh, to these beads. Oh. Two, two, one. Very good. Four. Now the hungry joker wants four uh, apples. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'll put one by one. He may not eat everything. Okay, he's hungry, so he, that's why he's Let trembling, you know. Let me try. If it goes, oh, he's taking everything. He's My still, God. he's still hungry. Okay, so the, so this is, the, this is just an idea. And uh, so this is for the younger children. You can do, uh, you can think and uh, create on your own. You can do it for the letters also. So, so let's remove this hungry joker from here. Ma'am, when I first saw this, I thought it's a pen stand because uh, children keep on losing their erasers, pencils and sharpness. Maybe they can Let them use the way store. they are. They ah, want. We are not going to impose anything. Okay, hmm. see, here again a paper uh, basket. Okay. Uh, the half of the uh, sweet uh, box. Bag, bag you know like uh, you know like was left and i just covered you know like just rolled it and there was a cookie uh, what should i say yeah. lid cookie lid okay. you know like i just attached it this is also made of a cardboard okay. so this you can make it for your basket for keeping your pencils yeah. for or anything and then uh, children can decorate it right okay now let's uh, see some more uh, and you can also make it with the cardboard cutting also suppose you are not getting a lid yeah. Then you can take a, a relatively uh, harder cardboard, mm -hmm. cut it, make a circle, and then cut a circle, paste that ring over the circle and then this. True. Mm -hmm. And how can you forget my initial basic uh, paper t uh, ball, you know, mm -hmm. like that's it. Okay. Now, uh, this is this particular uh, roll, you know, like this is my aluminium foil food yeah, I know. roll you know left when foil is finished yeah then we get there so never you are not going to throw it now of course not so uh, teachers you know like ask the parents to share these materials which they find in their home yeah. uh, you can always create a wish list and uh, generally parents just throw it so mm -hmm. why not uh, create a collection box and keep this in your and what i have done 
I have kept some newspaper inside this uh, paper bag mm -hmm. and I have covered this with the brown waste uh, brown paper bag. Now, it depends on you. You can create an animal face, you can create a doll face, whatever you want. If I want a cat face, I uh, so I can create here, a, uh, you know, attach here a triangle, some whiskers over here and let children do it. We are not going to do it for the children. Let children have actual fun. You can create mask and this is again a paper and a plastic bottle puppet. Mm -hmm. So you can use it here, you know, like it is covered with the paper. So this is paper and a bottle a puppet. Again, uh, never throw the calendars. Never old, throw the old calendars. calendars. Old calendar. Never throw the calendars. So, uh, I can show it in the camera. So, this was the calendar lying in my, uh, you know, like, it's nothing over here. Uh, yeah. So, I'll, you know, it was a calendar. What I did, I pasted paper. It's okay. Okay. Now, this you can make a picture reading uh, posters. Encourage children to collect, cut pictures from the old magazines, books, old magazines, not your textbooks, okay. So, old magazines, newspapers, ask and give children blunt scissors and let them cut on their own, their favorite pictures and ask them to paste uh, on these, uh, on this calendar, right. So, what you can do, you can also uh, paste the newspaper over here. Yeah. When the children will uh, create a picture over here, pasting five to six pictures, let children talk about it. Now, how you are going to do it? Suppose young children are there, ask children to cut the pictures, their favorite pictures and paste it. Mm -hmm. So, what they have done? When they are cutting the pictures from the old magazines, they are strengthening their fine motor skills. Correct. Right. And when they are exploring and observing the pictures in the magazines, their sense of sight, mm -hmm. their curiosity, their problem solving skill, everything is, you know, like creative. Their choices. Their choices. Yeah. And when, they're, when they have pasted it. Mm -hmm. So, young children can talk about this picture, mm -hmm. what this picture is about, okay. Yeah. A little more older children, you can ask, okay, now you have pasted the picture, now write one word beneath each picture. This is for a little older children yeah. and a little more older children, for example, class one uh, child, ask them to write one sentence beneath each picture. Yeah. Class two children, ask them to write whatever they want, at least five to six line about what they have pasted. Okay. So it is I have pasted my pictures and I am writing for this. So, their writing skills, their expressions, uh, you know, like uh, their choices, their critical thinking, everything uh, gets connected with all these three developmental goals. So, we have many more uh, paper ideas which we can see, I think, on the slide. Uh, can we see it on the, so paper and wooden rattle, very, very famous, you know, like uh, this we rattle. We used to call it dugdugi. Okay, mm -hmm. so that is a paper the, the, the first one, yeah. And okay, so if you, you do it like this yes. Yes. and okay. So, uh, so paper rattle and uh, wooden rattle. So, mm -hmm. a paper rattle is again very, very fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, can we see some more pictures? Oh, yeah, lovely. So, that is a paper snake. It's so easy, you know, like the children will just, yes. uh, you know, like fold yes. in a New zigzag. Paper. Yeah. Uh, they can use the newspaper and again uh, you can see the enlarged view of a paper rattle and I think at the end they attach some uh, clay bead which when you rotate it you know like it makes noise. Okay. So that is okay. the fun of the paper uh, okay. snake. Okay. Some, some more ideas for paper toys. I think I have already uh, shown this. Uh, Right hand picture. Right side picture. Yeah, this is a way you can create. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this will be your own original stick puppet, uh, which uh, the children can also use. And you can use these paper toys and paper puppets to tell a story and uh, to dramatize any story. 
and on the left side if you'll see a girl is showing a paper streamer uh, the most front girl so that uh, paper streamers you know like you cut it and you can use it for uh, to decorate the class and uh, at the behind you know like the children are just sailing their paper boats and I can also see a pin wheel. Uh, pin wheel is a very common and popular toy of India. Firki. Uh, do we call it Firki? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We call it Firki. Okay. So they they also get a uh, concept of wind. Yeah. You know, like uh, uh, where the wind is blowing, your uh, pin wheel is moving. Yeah. yeah. So and that is again a concept. Yeah. If you run uh, taking pin wheel in your hand. Yeah. That will again start. So that means that when you are running, there is an energy motion, and because of that, the, yes. uh, the there is a movement. Mm. So the the wind, you know, like although they the cannot concepts. feel the wind, yeah, mm. but they can see that their pinwheel is moving. Yeah, and wind produces energy. Wind right. produces energy. Yeah. Of course, the young children cannot understand that, but when they reach in the higher yeah. classes, they can recall. They can recall. Yeah. That's yes. why. Beautiful. We yeah. say that small things which are learned in the early years. They help them to connect better. Mm. True. When they learn specific concepts, it helps them to learn better. Mm. And since they have already have some hands-on experience, it gives an imprint in their mind. Mm. So their learning is. I think thing. you have answered again to uh, Tanvi's question, which she asked in the beginning: What is toy-based pedagogy? Yeah. So this is how the toy-based pedagogy helps children to learn and strengthen their concepts and skills. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a fun as well. Great fun. True. So let's see more toys on our screens and uh, okay. Okay. So here comes the clay toys. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, talked about and shown many pictures of uh, traditional uh, paper toys and paper toys are very very um, common and fun and. Uh, very popularly we also call origami in the paper toy but now we are showing some pictures of uh, clay toys clay toys we also talk about you know like uh, uh, in our uh, schools uh, teachers and children call it uh, um, chikni mitti ke khilone they call it you know like uh, or they call it potter's clay potter's clay yeah. potter's clay and uh, in, in, in our, uh, you know, like uh, NCRT lab schools and maybe you must be also doing uh, in your schools. They call the potter uh, to the school and uh, the potter uh, creates the toys in front of the children and children also get an opportunity to have a feeling uh, with the, that chikni mitti or a potter's clay mm -hmm. and create on their own. Mm -hmm. So, uh, never think that uh, children, uh, you know, like many times... Uh, uh, parents uh, say you know like uh, you know like my child will get dirty you know yeah. so uh, I, I think never don't stop your uh, child uh, let them feel that uh, uh, texture of clay and create on their own and uh, this will again connect with the with their culture mm -hmm. uh, with indigenous and traditional toys mm -hmm. and uh, so let's look at some pictures and you will, uh, I'm sure you have some more, I, these are very, very traditional clay toys, uh, which I just, uh, which are ancient rather, very, very ancient. You yeah. can see that bird uh, with, you know, like, and there is a twig uh, inside, you know, the uh, clay wheel, uh, so, you know, like which are uh, Raja Maharaja's uh, Children must be playing with such kind of a traditional uh, toy. Uh, so you can see a jumping monkey clay and again a bird, a flying bird. So these are just an idea of our traditional indigenous uh, clay toys. Can we have some more pictures? Okay. Here comes uh, uh, evergreen and uh, all time favorite dolls. And the rag dolls, the soft dolls, the cloth dolls, and the soft toys. So when you, if, if you can see that the yellow uh, dress doll is just made up by, you know, like uh, our young children of IIT nursery school with the help of the uh, their teachers, and they just share their pictures with us. So 
uh, and you, if you can see that rack camel, you still find this rack camel, bird and elephants in Rajasthan. It is very popularly available, you know, where they hang these uh, rack camel, elephant and birds, you know, like uh, on their doors. doors very, yeah. very, very common. You still find in their uh, local markets and, yeah. uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, this is how we call that uh, when the children learn in, at their foundational stage and preparatory stage, gradually you are helping the entrepreneurship and... Uh, Helping ideas. the you toys. You are giving them so many ideas. Yeah. And uh, this is how, you know, like uh, uh, you are encouraging the toys uh, industry. Yes. Correct. So yes. that is, you know, like why to buy, you know, like the plastic, poor quality toys when hmm. we have such uh, treasure of You know, uh, toys. here I remember uh, vocal for local. You know, <laughs> this has become yes. a slogan. Absolutely. And yes, I think that was very inspirational mm -hmm. and now we find that toys are really coming up mm -hmm. people are really yes. showing up look mm -hmm. this is from our culture this is from yes. so uh, definitely toys give them lot of ideas it makes you very creative True. and it gives you a lot of fun right very True. important and it makes learning very easier Correct. right very very easier Correct. and uh, you know you don't even feel that i have learned so many things yeah that right. is the beauty. That is Absolutely. the beauty. Without pressure, you are learning. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So we have seen a lot of examples of toys, be it uh, paper toys, be it wooden toys, and even clay toys. So ma'am has even shown certain examples of uh, indigenous uh, toys hmm. here. But I would still like to ask Romila, ma'am, here that are you suggesting uh, teachers and even parents not hmm. to stop their children and get into the clay and make uh, hmm. those toys themselves? Uh, if they want, if they can. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, I would uh, still ask you that why are you suggesting this to our teachers and parents? Why exactly are indigenous toys helpful? Though we have answered this a little bit, but uh, let's uh, get a little further with this. Okay. Okay. It's simple. It is cost effective. <laughs> it, it is cost effective. And, uh, you know, like when we say that the battery operated toys or... Uh, you know like uh, electronic toys are costly hmm. and uh, these are just uh, battery operated and electronic toys are ornamental you know like if I'll just you know uh, what what is it fill the you know like uh, I'll just see you know like the battery operated toy is dancing yeah. but the indigenous traditional toys are cost effective if, okay. if I'll say you know like we have just seen all these toys these yeah. are cost effective hmm. And uh, uh, you can make the traditional Indian toys using the paper, paper mashi. In India is uh, famous for, you know, like paper, paper mashi toys. Jammu and Kashmir comes up with so many toys and even the on, uh, decorative items. Mm -hmm. Cloth toys, you know, like you fill the rag, you fill the carpet pieces mm -hmm. uh, in your doll. And your doll becomes so cuddly, you mm -hmm. know, like... Uh, we we don't we do not want dolls you know like uh, uh, like a dolls, plastic no dolls. plastic dolls or no uh, lady like dolls dolls which you want to cuddle yeah. you know like and cloth dolls are the best dolls so mm -hmm. my simple yeah. answer is it is cost effective and they are made with locally available material that is what you know like you can get the fabric pieces everything from the tailor you know like in the evening when the tailor just sweep away the uh, fabric pieces you just bring those fabric pieces from the tailor and uh, create your own toys okay so that's one of the reasons yeah a major reason for sure it's cost effective but what else can you think of let the viewers think about you know like what else you can think about uh, why we should use and bring indigenous toys for our for teaching uh, concepts and uh, for our classroom processes think and i i'm sure uh, you're very good at it okay yeah okay so uh, can we say that we can create a child friendly environment uh, to you know implement play way activity based and a child centered approach yes uh, if you can see on the slide uh, uh, especially uh, if i if i'll give you the answer also you know like how to create a child friendly environment uh, you know uh, for uh, to implement the play way activity based and child centered approach first of all you know like uh, 
multilingualism and toy based pedagogy is uh, very very uh, important you know uh, i uh, uh, would you like to uh, yes. elaborate on it uh, well uh, we generally find in our government schools particularly that we have children from different uh, backgrounds different states and for example uh, migrant labor sometimes some transfers happen so children from different languages they have their different mother tongue and they will feel very isolated if there is formal uh, i will say teaching learning only so if we bring in toys so they start communicating using the toys you know and that helps in the socialization of the children as well as their learning so toys become a way toys become a medium toys become a means you know it becomes really a teaching learning aid which helps promoting multilingualism for example if i was somewhere i was showing some toys from gujarat which we call rasoi then from karnataka we say kitchen set then people from tripura they had some other word and they had the same thing so when children from different languages are in the classroom they will give their own names for a specific toy and that's how they will pick up words from different languages they will appreciate as well as learn so i think toy based pedagogy is a, a very important and i will say a very good means to promote multilingualism and to feel child to let child feel comfortable in a multilingual class absolutely yeah uh romila ma'am initially you showed uh, one of the baskets and you said that i'm inspired from one of the child mm -hmm. and uh, this i think uh, when we scroll internet we see diy which mm -hmm. states do it yourself toys mm -hmm. and that's very popular these days among the children even yeah. among adults yeah. so how is this related to toy based pedagogy okay why not show first of all a diy talk okay this is a diy toy and this is exclusively made by guess what you can you tell me what is this ma'am it's the cover of corn okay corn. it's a peel of a corn cob corn cob corn, corn. Yeah. okay and what is this this is attached to the same yeah peel and between corn and peel. yes so uh i uh, the you know like made, this is a diy okay uh, and uh, these are the buttons okay and uh, the child just you know like uh, drawn the face mm -hmm. and uh, this is the hair of a doll so this is which you this is called diy you know like you diy means do it yourself mm -hmm. you can keep and it it was just a, a cloth piece uh, you know like we have wrapped the cloth piece you know like around this and it becomes a doll, doll you know of course you know like uh, uh, there is no cost attached with it yeah. nothing nothing yeah. and you feel so proud you know like yes i have made it yeah. okay so that is a beauty now uh, no uh, all these you know like when i said this is all diy This is all DIY. Yeah, make right? your own toy. Make you know? your own toy. This is all DIY. Yeah. But the beauty with this corn doll is, you know, like you can attach more such kind of a thing and make uh, a choti of a doll. And uh, when a child can make it, that is also strengthening the fine motor skill. Mm -hmm. And this is a, actually a no cost material. And this is environmental. And what Sandhya said, this is experiential learning. Mm. right yeah. so uh, this is diy now when we say diy toy you know um, diy toy is this is again a diy ball mm. uh, keep and give children sufficient educate and appropriate loose materials and encourage children to create on their own like first of all uh, establish uh, you know like collect collect the materials and collect the material doesn't means only buttons and all whatever is available uh, you know like around your environment involve parents in that you know create a wish list and send a wish list to the parents to send those materials to the classroom but yes no money is involved in this whatever is available like a shoe box like a carton box like the old pens and all so collect and when you collect you know like classify these materials think 
how you can uh, use and keep this and organize these materials in the DIY area. Discuss. Let the children discuss among themselves. Encourage. You know, like uh, how to do. You know, encourage children to explore what you have. You know, like how we can uh, create something out of it. Let's think. Let's plan and create on your own. Do not interfere when your children are creating. Of course, you can be there as a guide, but do not give them ideas. Believe me, their ideas are better than yours. And uh, uh, let them design and let them use it uh, in their own way. They can use it as a puppet. They can use it, uh, you know, like uh, as a learning materials because as we say, the toys as tools for learning. And uh, when the children are doing it, you know, like you can find uh, what children are learning, how they are progressing and your assessment becomes easy. Uh, and uh, if we can see uh, in, in our uh, slide uh, on, on the presentation, uh, collect in a duly labeled boxes and baskets. You know, labeling is very, very important. Loose and open-ended materials. Uh, low cost and no cost materials, nature and natural materials, I have already said, cones, pines, dry leaves, seeds, feathers and materials like various sizes of bowls, cardboard boxes, shoe boxes, child friendly scissors, empty jars and many more uh, such things, right? Uh, if you can, you can see in the picture that hanger mobiles, you can hang uh, the strings from the hangers uh, and you can create a hanger mobiles and uh, hang it from the ceiling of your classroom and you can change these hanger mobiles on a different concepts on different themes you know like depending on the monthly theme or a weekly theme and you can see uh, a boy is uh, you know like uh, enjoying the drum made of a cookie uh, container uh, see this uh, this is also shared by one of the lab school of NCRT the old straws and the bangles of mamas and teachers and you know like uh, this is again one bangle, two bangle, three bangles. So it's a beautifully beautiful uh, toy for foundational numeracy and the children are playing with their own uh, rag uh, doll. Isn't it a fun? And again uh, uh, this is a shoe box with the uh, where the teacher held the uh, child to create uh, you know like slots in that and you know like somehow or other you know connect it with the foundational literacy like if you will say k, what material you can find it from k I can you know like uh, t, uh, p. so if I will say p you know like patta I can see that the child is supposed to pick up the patta and put it in that slot right and uh, t is a tala and pick up the tala and put it in that slot okay so so these are the found materials, you know, uh, waste wires, you know, like these. Uh, so you can uh, use materials as a toy. Uh, so this is a dies. You can create, apart from the dot dies, you can also create letter dies and also the number dies. So see, a fun. You can create from the toilet paper rolls and then set up your own uh, DIY toy area. Okay. Would you like to tell us that how a teacher can set up a toy area in uh, their classes and uh, what exactly material they can use uh, no, to set it up? Yeah, uh, we have already has you know like so much of our materials now come on set up a material uh, set up a toy area. We can see the slide uh, again uh, create uh, take a uh, first of all, explore the space. Explore the space uh, in your classroom uh, where you can set up or create a toy area and label the toy area as my toy area. Organize it with the, on the uh, shelves, loose materials and put it on the open shelves. Label each shelf uh, and boxes so that uh, children can keep the materials back. Keep three to four small rugs in that particular area uh, so that uh, children can sit and create on their own and uh, classify materials in separate boxes and shelves that is very very important so that your material uh, your area doesn't look cluttered keep materials in a see-through boxes so that the children can see what is there 
print numbers and toy names, especially in context of foundational literacy and numeracy. Uh, keep safe and non-toxic material that is very very important so that your children are stay safe. Use small clear containers to store small pieces like buttons, uh, small magnets and ensure that there are there is a toy for all. And you can see uh, some pictures of the toy area where you can keep the boxes and label with it with the pictures and uh, print it becomes easy. And before Tanvi asked me what is the benefit of a DIY <laughs> toy area, uh, well it promotes independence uh, as we keep on saying that children learn, find it easier to use, their grasping is better uh, and uh, of course it you know like uh, they collaborate, cooperate and uh, socialize with each other. So these are just the low cost, no cost uh, materials, examples. You can see a uh, top uh, made up with a bottle cap, you know, uh, and a paper doll, paper roll dolls. So some examples of a paper toys, paper doll, concept formation we have already showed. But let's see uh, how we can use the digital technology, uh, you know, uh, uh, to support the early learning because we cannot deny the technology in this area. Walkie talkie. You can also create your own walkie talkie using the toilet paper roll. You can see one of the example of a walkie talkie. Uh, enhance, it helps uh, enhancing the foundation literacy. Children's uh, child friendly camera, e storybooks, e puzzles, phonic games, drag and drop number games, which you all will also see in our uh, module. And create your own picture poster as I shared with you. So this is again one of the example of a tech toys uh, which the children can also uh, uh, you know like uh, but always under with the supervision of uh, uh, under the supervision of uh, adults. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, like we have seen many examples, so you uh, have just showed us the digital toys yeah. apart from the um, indigenous toys yeah. and uh, cultural toys we just discussed. Sandhya Ma'am, would you like to tell us that how can we involve the parents and even uh, teachers in community to promote the toy based pedagogy? Uh, it's a very good question and I will rather say mm -hmm. that uh, Parents uh, feel very delighted when they are involved in toy making because you know uh, they have lots of material at home and once they are given a chance how best they can bring their wisdom to the classroom using uh, the material which is not of any use to their household, they can really contribute. So how should they be involved? They, there are many ways. For example, if we look at the slide. First of all, that we encourage them to create toys from waste material, no cost material. For example, Dr. Sony was just showing how small, small things which are very much available at home and which are generally thrown can be used to learn certain concepts. For example, we just uh, learn counting by feeding this hungry joker. So parents can be involved by supplying or by making toys with the low cost or no cost material. They can also extend their support to the teacher, you know, while teachers are having a session or they are creating DIY area, parents can be invited to contribute in the creation of DIY area and place their own waste or no use things in that area. Then they can also share their old toys. Sometimes, for example, I find it in my house that children grow up and toys are not uh, appropriate for their age. But you don't want to throw them because your child has played with them. So you want some other child should also play with those toys. So you can ask them that if they have some uh, spare toys or the toys which are not being used, they can bring it to the school. So you can create a toy library, you can call it a toy bank, a kilona bank or a toy library or a toy area. So there are many, many ways, you know, once you start involving the parents, 
it's possible that they also suggest you how can they contribute. The only thing is that you have to keep yourself open to the suggestions from the parents and their ideas and also have a good conversation with them to make your classroom vibrant and to have a very good toy area which can very well engage our young children and promote their learning using their own created toys. I think uh, parents can be very useful. Okay, all right. So I'm sure all the parents and teachers who are watching this program, they are going yeah. to agree with you uh, entirely. So um, let's ask Romila ma'am here. My next question would be, ma'am, can we teach the concepts through toy-based pedagogy and also how assessment should be inbuilt in toy-based pedagogy? Okay, uh, we keep on talking about that uh, assessment is becomes very easy, you know, like and it, it is inbuilt in the toy based pedagogy. Mm. So can we have uh, a slide uh, over the screen so that it becomes more clear. As we said that ongoing assessment for toy based pedagogy is uh, non threatening, it is a pressure free. Uh, it becomes very easy for the teacher to observe the progress of uh, uh, the child's learning and uh, very easy to match the key competencies and align with the learning outcomes, LOs uh, is learning outcomes, quick grasp and actually a fun with. So when we say using toys in learning concepts and skills uh, and also using the assessment, uh, you can see when the children are uh, playing with the toys and uh, how they are using their problem solving skill. So observation and assessment becomes easy. How they are having their concepts in foundational numeracy, whether they are able to reason out and understand the relationship, oral uh, expression, uh, color concepts uh, and so many things. So let's uh, uh, do one uh, game. I, I just request the team. Uh, to show the top camera, you know, like to understand how the toy based and game based pedagogy. So I can show, you know, like if you, uh, you can just have a feel. I'll just request uh, my colleague Sandhya. I'm giving her a dais. I am giving her, okay. We can show it from the beginning actually. Uh, fine, you have seen that uh, this uh, game is in Hindi, but similarly you can make it in English, okay. This is exclusively for foundation literacy. Now you have seen this, the title of this, this board game is Bhasha Ki Udaan. Now let us see how it begins with, fine. So I am giving this dais to uh, uh, Sandhya and this can be played with the 6 to 8 children. And here, you know, like you can use the Ludo counter or you, you can also use a button, you know. So, I'll, uh, Sandhya, why don't you throw the dice? I'll yeah. explain the instructions also side by side. Okay, so Sandhya has got? Two. Two. Okay, so which uh, counter you want to choose? I want, I like this color. Pink, okay. Yeah. So, uh, one and two. Yeah, one and two. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what are these? Fruits. Hal, okay. If we are uh, because this uh, game is in Hindi, but I, I hope our viewers are understanding, you know, like the concept behind it. So, phal. So, phal me. Uh, what is the initial sound you hear in uh, the word phal? Pha. Pha. Okay. Uh, Sandhya, can you think about any other word that begins with the uh, sound pha? Yes. Paluda. <laughs> okay. So that is again, uh, you know, like, uh, so are, are you feeling hungry when you are? So, no. I, uh, my mouth is watered, you know, <laughs> the summers are already on. So I, so I you, love you, Faluda. And, and the fruits are also there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, like, okay, now if I uh, do it, so one, so I will put it here and uh, so null. Uh, so yeah. the initial sound is null. Yeah. Now the rule is you can create your own rule also. Like uh, if you can see there are flowers, one block of flowers, two, three, four and five. Okay. So whenever if suppose uh, one, two, three, four, if I get uh, four, okay. And if uh, you will come here, 
if, yeah. if you'll come one, two, three, four. Yeah. So the child whose counter will come on the flower slot will uh, will jump three slot. Okay, oh. so one, two, three. Uh, the, you'll get here. Oh. So that becomes the bonus point. Yeah. So this is also foundational literacy, and mm -hmm. where you, when you are counting the slot, it is also related with the foundational Numeracy. numeracy. So similarly, this is because we do not have a time and we cannot uh, uh, play all the games. But I just want to show some more uh, board games, and you can um, create some more games like this. So this is Safai ki Sidi. Uh, so this is again like a snake and ladder. And I can I show. I think this is related to our first developmental goal. Yes. Oh, oh yes. So this is a related with the developmental goals mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So I uh, I think our viewers can connect it. You related. know, like uh, yeah, yeah. how it is related with the developmental yeah. goals. So this is again. If you will throw the dice. Uh, okay, oh. one. So you'll come here, and if I'll say three. So I'll come here, okay? Oh. So if, you, if okay, I'll just let me throw once more. Oh, two, no, two. Okay. So I'm with you now. Okay. Let me throw. So three, you know. So one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Oh. Six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, five. Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me uh, just show you because with, with, uh, be, uh, due to the shortage of a time. If suppose uh, Sandhya comes here on five. So here it is written you brush your teeth oh. daily. Go up. For the younger children the yeah. teacher can read for the child yeah. and the older children can read it themselves. I can uh, Children can also read the picture. Yes. So uh, it is for uh, the children who cannot read it. Yeah. So it is uh, the print is also there and the picture is also there. Yeah. So Sandhya, you brush your teeth daily. Two times, Ras. Okay, so you will just go up on thirteen. So this is again the number is also there and all the three developmental goals are there. Correct. So let me show you one more uh, game. Uh, that is again. Now you have to tell me which developmental goal is there. This is Poshtik Ahar Kakhel, health and. First goal, developmental goal. But yeah. when the children are also reading the and numbers yeah, yeah. and uh, reading it, it is also with the remaining two developmental goals. Sure. So that is again Poshtik Ahar ka, uh, you okay. know, like I'll just. Can you read this for the viewers? Yeah, actually, uh, it is you eat green leafy vegetables. Hmm. Go up. Very good. So if I am eating vegetables, that means I am getting a good health. Yes. And that's why I'm, uh, oh, I am, oh, I have climbed up so fast. And, and you learned also that eating junk food is very bad and eating green oh. leafy vegetable is so good for your so health. Good. Because uh, I think if I suppose go to 12 and uh, it means that you eat lots of sweets, <laughs> so I will be pushed to 2. Yeah. I must not eat so You, you should sweets. not eat lot yeah. of chocolates also. No, it's, yeah. it's so bad for yeah, you. It's so bad for my health. Right. So uh, that's what. And Small messages for young children. <laughs> you know? True. So I think uh, now uh, we before we'll just show uh, uh, some more quiz and toys. Uh, let's have some experiential learning and some foundational nu numeracy games also. So I have some uh, number grid bingo game. This is called bingo. I'm giving this one to Sandhya and one to Tanvi. And I'm using buttons as a counter. See, I have buttons. Okay, so I have buttons as a counter. And uh, okay, why not? I think let let Sandhya keep it here so that it it becomes easier for the viewers to see. Sure. Okay, now how to pl play this? Now you have these numbers, uh, the buttons, and you also have these buttons. Okay, and you have to give these buttons back to me. Remember. Okay. Uh, fine. If I'll say. Uh, any uh, two numbers uh, which you which the answer is coming on this suppose if I say 1 plus 1 so you have to cover which number cover with the button 2 2 very good okay uh, 3 plus 2 5 okay uh, let Sandhya again look at it carefully 3 plus 2 that's 5. 3 O. Oh. I thought 3 plus 5. 3 plus 
2 is yes it is 5 very good so that is a self assessment as well okay uh, and uh, okay 3 plus 3 Six. 3 plus 3 yeah uh, do you are supposed to use the new button oh, oh. so that you will cover all the numbers with the buttons right and you can see whether you are doing it right okay now see you can also do the multiplication with it so listen carefully 2 multiply 2 is which number four. cover it with your button I think four. very good so I think viewers can get an idea now let's uh, uh, do other there is a feeling game also see this is another one and uh, let uh, Sandhya do it with the numbers, uh, with the buttons. Buttons I am using as a counter. Okay. You can use the beads, you can use the Rajma seed, you can use the Chana seeds. Okay. Now I will just request the team to show the top camera. Uh, this is an emotions and counting games. Yeah. So you have to roll the dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll it and uh, yeah. <coughs> Okay, how many dots are there? Two. So you have to cover two sad emojis with your two buttons. I'll just guide you and then later on you any any all are same. Yeah. It is again one to one correspondence. Okay. Okay, roll the dice again. Okay. One. Now what are you going to do? One button. Okay. One button and one emoji. Yes, okay. okay. Now do it again. Three. three. So, what you will do now? Again, three buttons. I will take one, two, three. One. I will cover this whole line. Very good. Two. And I will go here. Very good. So, this is just giving you an idea. Like, uh, this is again one to one correspondence, number counting. And uh, uh, also, also addition and also like how many are left? Huh? How many total emojis are there? Huh. Because the child is supposed to cover the whole grid. Yeah. Whole grid, it is also related with your developmental goal 1 as well as with your developmental goal 2. And when the child is talking with each other, you can also do a peer assessment in this. Let's yeah. look at each other. How many of yours are left? Correct. Right? Yeah. So, uh, let's look at the uh, slide, I think. Uh, on the and screen. And with this ma'am let me tell you we have got last 7 minutes left. Okay, fine. So, let us look at the quiz. You can also do a quiz. Uh, if I will ask uh, uh, Sandhya, I have a toy that spins. It teaches me motion. I can spin it on floor and enjoy more and more. Which is this toy? I think let two. Top. Okay, yes, top. So, which is very popularly we call it. Uh, Let two. And okay, I am a toy, I can fly, but I need wind to uh, help me fly. Can you guess who am I? And that's a kite. That's a kite, yes. So, found materials you can use uh, to create toys and see the, how the tins were before and how the tins later on. So, you can do the bowling tins and this is the way you align the toys with concepts and skills. These are then nesting to dolls and what are the concepts and skills uh, the children can learn? Pre-number and number concept, one-to-one -one correspondence and these are the learning outcomes. Uh, this is called mapping of uh, toys uh, with the learning outcomes and with the concepts and you can see the image of the toy. These are the shaped dominoes. So, these are just an example how you can align the toys with the concept skills and the learning outcomes. So, I think uh, Sandhya should talk about you know like how we should be careful while we are selecting toys for our classroom processes. Well, uh, when we are talking about the children, especially young children who are perhaps not aware what is safe for them and what is not, then it becomes uh, our foremost duty that we become very careful while we select toys for them. So, there are certain points which uh, you might think that they are very simple and you might not pay any heed, but they are very, very important. So, I will just list, for example, these uh, when we are talking about toy based pedagogy, our, we have many objectives. One of the objective is that to make children feel connection with the culture. So, while you are selecting the toys, see that they are aligned with the Indian culture and ethos. For example, when we are selecting a doll, generally we go for a Barbie doll. 
Have you ever seen any Indian look like a Barbie doll? No. So we better go for rag dolls, for uh, rag dolls, for example, uh, DIY doll. So we should select toys which are aligned with our Indian culture. Similarly, connected with the regional culture. You know, India is a huge country, diverse country. Every state has their own culture. So let the child feel more connected with the immediate culture. So overall Indian culture, then again we say that regional culture. Then it should be age and developmentally appropriate. We were telling it time and again whenever we were playing with games or we were trying to show you certain DIY toys that all those should be age appropriate so that the children they enjoy. They don't feel a pressure or they don't feel a fear of failure, you know. Then aligned with three developmental goals, yes. This is very important. We want to add fun to our learning, but at the same time, we never want to lose our focus. You know, we have to have children learning or advancing through achievement of three developmental goals. The material and the toys should be safe, non-toxic. For example, sometimes we find cheap clay in the market, which in case the child eats, you know, or puts in the mouth, it can be poisonous. So we have to avoid such material. Multi-purpose. We have to look at the utility of the material and the toy. It should not be one time use only. It has to have multi-purpose. It should be connected with more than one goals, more than one learning out. Use it to the best, you know. Open-ended. Let's not attach it with a particular learning outcome. We make it generally available and then we provide this challenge to our little children that let them explore and say what they are learning using those toys. So selection of toys is very important and again it is full of fun but you have to be careful. Absolutely. Thank you so much ma'am and uh, I'm sure uh, the viewers, the parents, the teachers, they're going to be very, very careful after listening to uh, no, these tips. Anything else Romila ma'am you have for our viewers? Any tips? Anything? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just want to say that uh, academic success will be achieved uh, very easily mm -hmm. if we provide age and developmentally appropriate toys to them and allow them uh, to play and explore on their own and believe uh, in them. And uh, I also want uh, teachers uh, to encourage parents to share their old toys uh, with the school so that each school uh, can create a Kilona bank in their school. That's it. And I just also want uh, to show, you know, like uh, uh, we are very, very thankful to the IIT nursery school and the lab schools and the model schools of uh, NCERT for sharing their pictures, for, uh, for sharing the pictures of the children and for sharing the photographs of the, uh, their children, you know, like who made it with the help of their uh, uh, teachers and parents. And of course, uh, we are very thankful uh, to the unknown authors who, sh uh, you know, like whose pictures we have taken uh, from online. And uh, we are very thankful to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much on the behalf of uh, all our viewers. I really want to thank both of you for making this program this uh, so interesting and uh, so interactive. And uh, it's amazing and uh, how we can learn from toys. I know uh, this is uh, in our heads. I'm sure everyone knows about it. But then, you know, telling it all about it, you know, openly and uh, discussing it in this detail so thank you so much for you can say bye bye to out. the viewers using this <laughs> okay thank you thank you to all the viewers for watching this entire session i'm sure you loved it just the way i did and uh, tomorrow again we are going to come back discussing the same course course number 12 but that will be in hindi and the topic would be bunyadi star ke liye khilona aadharit shikshan 
हम उम्मीद करते हैं कि आप हमारे साथ जुड़ेंगे और अपने प्रश्न हम तक जरूर पहुंचाएंगे एंड देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ लॉट ऑफ फन टुमारो एज वेल वील कम बैक सेम टाइम दैट्स 5:30 थर्टी पी एम ऑन द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म एन सी आर टी ऑफिशियल सो प्लीज वॉच द प्रोग्राम एंड फॉर टूडे वी आर रैपिंग अप ऑल आर सेशन बट टुमारो वील कम बैक अगेन सो टिल देन टेक ग्रेट केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू सेंड अस योर क्वेश्चन थैंक यू वंस अगेन नमस्कार